Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. I'm here today at a international food festival in Jerusalem. This uh, food festival is being held just outside the walls of the old city of Jerusalem. Spectacular setting. And I'm here today with uh, my friend and Jerusalem's uh, food, favorite viral food influencer, Shimshon Lashinsky and uh, Marcus James, a friend of ours as well. And uh, this is a really cool event. This place is divided into three. So there's a French section, an Italian section, and there's also a South American section. Entrance is free and it's a bunch of local restaurants and the prices are fixed up to 35 shackles. This event's been running since 2019, so it's in its fourth uh, iteration here. And uh, we've been to two places so far and uh, we made the mistake of uh, going for meat before dairy but everything here is kosher and entrance is free as I said so you just need to pay for what you eat there's places to sit down there's marionettes circulating entertaining people so very very family friendly uh, really cool event and this is running until the 14th of April so if you're looking for somewhere in Jerusalem to bring your family if you're in interested in international food definitely uh, I recommend checking this place out Hi guys this is an exciting time for Jerusalem We've got, we're in the middle of, just before the festive season of the Passover holidays, we've got the International Jerusalem Food Festival. There's just so many things to eat. Everyone's thrown us out of the house. We, we have, the house is kosher at Pesach now. We need food desperately, and we've got fantastic opportunities here. It's a cheap price, 35 shekels, which is about $11. There's a very big controversy in Jerusalem, and people are very angry. There's two sides to the story. First of all, the people say, how can you have an International Jerusalem Food Festival a few days before Pesach when we're cleaning? When we're busy uh, for Pesach, we haven't got time to have fun. And on the other hand, there's all the people who just want to get out of the house and have some fun. So this is a question here. Throw out the husband, the kids, the wives, throw them out of the house and have some fun, or stay home and just get ready for Pesach. A lot of people are confused. A lot of people are worried. They don't know what they're doing. I'm here to help solve and find you clarity for anything here. So we're looking forward to having a lot of fun and see, experience different things, new flavors. Come and join me. I haven't been fed enough yet, so once I have to feed more, then I can eat more, then I can work harder. Uh, two thirds of every sandwich I buy, how can I survive? This is the jungle here. Rachel, she's, she won MasterChef a few years ago for her, she's famous for her cheese sandwiches, and now she's branching out into meat sandwiches. It's with minced meat. And we've ordered one of her sandwiches. She has a, a place in Jerusalem in uh, Derry and in Tel Aviv meat. And um, she's blowtorching her sandwiches. Have you ever seen people blowtorch a sandwich before? It's supposed to add it, make it a bit more crunchy, so we'll find out. Let's go for it. We have uh, the Rachel steak sandwich. It's with a barekas. It's got all sorts of dips and uh, spreads. And, and uh, it's got a special cucumber. And it's going to be a bit spicy, it's got tahina, so it's all part of adventure. But look behind you and see what's going on there with Rachel. She's got a long line now starting up, so it's good. Let's see how we divide this between three people. I don't know how we're going to do that. I don't know. We'll try our best. It's hard work here. So try and have a bit, I don't know how we're going to do this. Here we are with the um, curry chicken from Siam and we're having discussions whether it's more Thai influence or more Indian influence. It's some sort of uh, combination, probably more Thai and I'm, I normally like less spicy. For me it was delightful. It was just challenging enough 
not too challenging and a lot of different vegetables and colors in there as well and I definitely tasted some coconut milk in there as well uh, which makes sense and uh, possibly cilantro do you think or not yeah so overall I would give this about an 8 or 9 out of 10 it suits my the Israeli palate it suits my uh, standards or desires for Asian food so they well done really enjoyed we're still in the middle of the food festival. There's about 30 or 40 choices. And we've tr we try to take things which are a little bit different from the usual. There's hamburgers here, there's churros, there's uh, steak sandwiches. And we've had two interesting things. And now we're looking for our third thing. And probably we'll go for this special kind of challah bread with meat inside. But there's so many other options. We regret not eating, having the dairy, product, dairy one first. Our partner here, food partner, Daniel, Rosiel said, wait, wait, maybe there's going to be some dairy stuff that's good. And those Georgians have certainly got it there. It's got all sorts of cheese and cheese on the chips. And, and there's it's kind of an amazing pastry as well. So always listen to the Daniel and you'll go well. We've got Georgian food here. Um, and they're putting in also, they've got all sorts of interesting meats. And we've taken the filling, the eggplant filled with nuts. So hopefully uh, we'll enjoy it. It looks looks interesting, it looks delicious, it looks delightful. That's a lot of raw onion there, so I don't know if we can eat that. And then sing in the choir, that could be a problem. And so we're gonna see if it's savory, it's supposed to be savory or sweet. We'll find out in a minute. Let's try this. The dominant flavor is the fried eggplants. But the nuts certainly give it a bit of a crunchy taste as well. And there's no, I think they don't have garlic in their food, the Georgians. So it's quite interesting. It's delicious. Hi, Marcus James here. Happy to be along for the ride with the Shimshon Show. Shimshon TV. And to be tasting amazing food. Uh, absolutely enjoyable. Uh, this is the Georgian food with the nuts and eggplant. Roasted eggplant, I think, maybe fried. I, I don't know. Debatable, but it's absolutely tasty. Just so you know, it's also served cold, so it's not a warm dish, but very tasty. Thaian, Thaian oil. Mmm. Mmm. In any food festival, you always regret something that you didn't have. So we went. To, we went had meat quite quickly. We didn't have the dairy. Daniel Rosehill said wait there'll be dairy stuff first but we didn't do it so now we need our food consultants here to tell us have a taste and tell me what you think of this Georgian de delightful dish taste it and tell us mm. very good that's tasty yeah, see if we miss out and enjoy these hot chips. Hopefully they're hot. We like them hot. We're having some of the fries and we feel like we're in America. So, um, pretty good. Um, it's basically a frozen product, so we have to be honest. It's not handmade, but it's, it's good. Uh, two coins, double, double. Fish time. All right, and welcome, welcome here to our USA street. So you can enjoy yourself in the saloon over there and I will keep you safe, don't worry. Okay. By the way. You're a bro, you're a bro. Did you see my treasure? I don't know if I want to see your treasure, but you're a cool guy and keep up the good work. Oh, thank you, you know. thank you. We've been at the International Kosher Food Festival in Jerusalem and we just hit a bonus, we hit gold. We've got Susie Fishbein here from America. Wow. 
and she she's doing a lot of interesting things with food. She's now in Israel. She's looking at ideas. And generally, I want to ask you, what do you think of the Israeli food scene? I think the Israeli food scene is like none other. It's incredible. You can eat out every single meal and, and never exhaust your options. The quality is really interesting, fabulous, and I just, I like how all the different cultures come together. And you also write a lot of cookbooks, so yes. um, probably the number one Israeli cookbook would be Otolenghi, I would say. Yeah, yes. we, get a lot, we get a lot from him, what he does with the Israeli kitchen, the Middle Eastern kitchen. It's, it's pretty amazing, isn't it's it? It's incredible, although a shout out to my girl, Adina Sussman. Oh. I don't know if you know her book, Sababa, but that was a huge success. Oh, okay. Um, okay. She lives outside the Carmel Market and really wrote like a love letter to tell of the events of the Israeli food scene in that book. Just in summary, because I've been, I've probably done about 300 food reviews in the last year and a half, and I'm trying now to use less superlatives. I'm trying less to get excited, because sometimes the same restaurant is good, and the next time it can be less good. So we just had that discussion about a hot new restaurant that I had a great experience at, Shimshon Lesso, and I, I asked him. I, I said, "You're in an unenviable un position. What when? What happens when you go someplace and you don't?" like it or you find things that are wrong that must be very tough to decide uh, how to write it is tough i try to to be honest and tell people what i thought about the meal i don't want people to waste their time and money to go to a restaurant and, and, and go you. there and count on me because i'll meet them the next day well i just feel a little responsible on the other hand i don't want to get sued because now we're hearing uh, i spoke to a lawyer uh, he's dealing with suing people for libel and, and all these kind of things so it's kind of a very difficult balance here um, we're living a tough life with a lot of responsibility, but we're also pressing and having a lot of fun. So that's the main thing. I can't wait to get into the food festival. I think what you will. What do you think of that? Uh, it was interesting, but I think you've got to start with the Georgian uh, food, the Khachapuri. Khachapuri. You'll love it. <laughs> okay, Chag Sameach and keep up the good work. Thank you. So if you want to keep following me, um, I've been every, a lot of different places, but Secret Jerusalem, a Facebook group, is an amazing place to go. And Keep seeing us and keep uh, and keep giving us likes and comments and come to Jerusalem. This is where the fun is.